SurfLink Mobile 2 provides easy connectivity to a variety of smartphones and other personal devices. However, occasionally patients may experience minor difficulties with streaming, pairing, or sound quality preferences. I'm Dr. Luis Camacho with the Education and Training Department at Starkey Hearing Technologies. And in this video, I'm going to show you some quick and simple troubleshooting tips for SurfLink Mobile 2. Rarely, intermittent streaming of phone calls or no streaming will occur. Typically, this can be solved by unpairing the cell phone from the SurfLink Mobile 2 and then repairing the two devices. There is a chance that the cell phone being used does not have a compatible Bluetooth platform. If this is the case, the current cell phone cannot be used with SurfLink Mobile 2. A list of compatible cell phones is available at StarkeyPro.com. Sound quality and volume preferences will vary from patient to patient. If the volume of a stream signal is too loud, there are a number of possible adjustments that can be made. One solution is to reduce the default volume of the Stream Boost memory. This is done within the Inspire 10 software. With the hearing aids connected to Inspire 10, click on Stream Boost and decrease the overall gain. This will result in a lower volume once streaming begins and the Stream Boost memory engages. Another option would be to disable the Stream Boost memory completely and stream using the other programmed memories. To do this, navigate to the Accessories screen within Inspire 10. Then, uncheck Stream Boost. Now, SurfLink Mobile 2 will stream in whichever memory the patient is currently using when the stream signal begins. Another simple solution to this problem would be to reduce the volume of the streamed input from the streaming screen on the SurfLink Mobile 2 itself. If the patient reports the stream signal to be a little harsh or tinny, a simple adjustment to the Stream Boost memory can be made. Within Inspire 10, select the Stream Boost memory and reduce the gain for high frequency sounds. If that doesn't solve the problem, try increasing the gain for low frequency sounds. If neither of these approaches is successful, sound quality issues may be solved by changing from open earbuds to occluded earbuds. It is simple to change the earbud style and see how the patient reacts. It is important to identify this change within Inspire 10 via the Acoustic Options screen. This allows for an accurate display of the hearing aid's frequency response. Lastly, when using the remote microphone function of the SurfLink Mobile 2, there may be occasional instances of static. Possible solutions to this include turning down the hearing aid volume or muting the hearing aids completely while streaming from the remote microphones. Increasing the distance between the hearing aids and the SurfLink Mobile 2 can eliminate the occasional static. And finally, adjustments with Inspire 10 could also solve the static issue. With the hearing aids connected to Inspire 10, try increasing mid-frequency gain or decreasing gain for high frequencies and the overall MPO. SurfLink Mobile 2 truly is one device that does it all. And with the personalization provided by the Inspire 10 software and the customization of the mobile device itself, any difficulties that may arise can be easily addressed. Thanks for watching, and for more information on this topic and many others, please see our quick tips.